guys, it is another beautiful day and today we're going to be talking about another topic and what we are discussing today is going to be why you need to be results oriented. I'll repeat that, results oriented. Um, and jumping straight into it, the main reason why um, you have to divert yourself from being busy oriented or hustle oriented versus being results oriented is because you can technically be super busy in something and get lots of work done, but if you're not seeing any results, you're not getting any sales, you're not putting up any videos, you're not completing the task at hand, and you're not getting any concrete results back, then what you're doing means nothing. For example, I could upload 100 videos but if I'm not getting any views, I'm not getting any subscribers, I'm not getting any results from it, then what I'm doing is pointless. I can make a clothing brand or I can make a company that sells specific products, but if I'm not selling any products, then there's no reason for me to reward myself. There's no reason for you to reward yourself if you're going to the gym and you're getting no results. You're not increasing your size. You're not decreasing your weight if that is your goal. So you have to look at every single area of your life and figure out what the results are. If it's gym, if you want to increase your bench from 150 to 175, you have to look at if you're getting the results to match your progress. If one week you're benching 150, the next week you're benching 150, the next week you're benching 150, you're constantly benching the same weight, you're not making any progress, that means you're not results oriented. So look at every single area of your life and figure out what are the results that you want in life? For me, I know that I want to achieve a ton of subscribers on YouTube. I want to upload a ton of videos on YouTube. I want to sell a bunch of products with my clothing company. And for me to achieve those results, I have to be hustling and become results oriented or results oriented where I'm only focusing on those goals and I'm only focusing on how I can increase my sales, how I can increase my view count, how I can increase my subscribers and that might be looking into the micro aspects of okay let's um, see how I can make better quality videos better quality products how I can market better you have to look at those things that you want to achieve and consistently make progress towards them because if you're not making results and you're just becoming busy you got that Gary V hustle you're putting in tons of hours and you're rewarding yourself for making tons of hours I think that's just stupid you should never reward yourself for hustling and grinding and getting hours in if there's no results attached to it. You should only be rewarding yourself for results. If you accomplish something, you get your first sale online, go out and reward yourself. Go buy like a nice dinner, go buy like a new pair of shoes, whatever it is. Or if you make your first $10,000 or whatever goal it is for you, specifically for you, once you achieve it, that's when you can reward yourself. Never reward yourself for putting in hours or for putting in, that's just bullshit. That's never gonna get you anywhere. Anyways, that's basically the topic for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's topic. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow and the rest of the week. We have a bunch, bunch of more videos coming up for you. And i um, super excited getting back on track with my videos. I hope you guys enjoy them too. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Leave some comments below as well. I got some new videos on um, a new diet that I'm going to be starting up. Definitely seeing some new benefits. Detox myself heavily. And you guys are going to enjoy it too. So hit subscribe below. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace out.